Ready? Oi, oi, oi! Amazing! All right, so when we get to that part, we gotta do that. Here we go. Hine mato. Hine mato. Umana in shabera fin gamiyakar. Hine mato. Umana in shabera fin gamiyakar. Hine, hine, hine mato. Oh, 
Boker Tov, everybody say Boker Or! Boker Or! And I say Boker Tov, everybody say Boker Or! Boker Or! Everybody ready? Thumbs up. Everybody ready? Hands in the air. Everybody ready? Wave them around. Boker Tov! Boker Or! Boker Tov, everybody. So good to be together with you on this beautiful morning outside. Today is the seventh day of the month of Cheshvan. <gasps> I know, it's Cantor's favorite month of the Hebrew year because there are no Hebrew Jewish holidays this month. <laughs> it's a nice, quiet month, the Get month the of Cheshvan. So um, this morning, we are going to remember all the months of the Jewish calendar of the year. So when we get to Cheshvan, get ready, it is month number two. When we get to Cheshvan, we want to hear it really, really loud. All right, here we go. Amazing! Welcome to Cheshvan. Well, it's time now that we're in Cheshvan to go to Hebrew Town. Oh, my favorite place. I do like Hebrew Town. Come on down to Hebrew Town. Now it's time to meet our root and toot and sheriff to teach us some Hebrew. Yeah! Oh, there he is. There he is. Howdy! Can I get a howdy? Howdy! Can I get a yee-haw? Yee-haw! So today, we're gonna we're gonna do a little review. Sheket Bavaka Sha. Hey. Sheket Bavaka Hey. Sha. So previously we learned we learned the word Sheket, which means to be blah 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 blah. No. No. That's not it. What does Sheket mean? Quiet. Someone wanna someone wanna help me? Yes, I heard it over there. Sheket means to be quiet. Now Bavaka Sha, you can't just tell someone. To, be quiet. You have to say it nicely. So bavakasha means please, please be quiet. <laughs> let's try it one more time. Okay, yeah. Wow, you guys were all everyone quiet. So noise. good. It works. <laughs> uh, You're so polite about it. <laughs> everyone, everyone make some noise. Check it bavakasha. Hey. Check it bavakasha. Hey. Sha. Good job. <laughs> all right. <laughs> it's a bit short today. Yeah, no, it's okay. It was great. <laughs> short and sweet. So everyone, stand up for some moda ani. We ready? Uh, you're gonna mirror me. I know I wasn't here uh, last week, so moda ani. Moda ani. Moda ani. Moda ani. Lefanecha. Lefanecha. Melechai vekayam. Melechai vekayam. Modeani. 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 Lefanecha. Lefanecha. Melechai vekayam. Melechai vekayam. Modeani. 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 Lefanecha. Lefanecha. Melechai vekayam. Melechai vekayam. Modeani. 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 Lefanecha, lefanecha, melechai v'kayam, melechai v'kayam. Mota'ani, 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 mota'ani. Lefanecha, lefanecha, melechai v'kayam, melechai v'kayam. Mota'ani, 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 mota'ani. Lefanecha, lefanecha, melechai v'kayam, melechai v'kayam. Nice. Are right, y'all guys ready for the rap? I think I have to sit down to get ready for yeah. the rap. Yeah, all right, yeah. Sit down. Bavakasha. <laughs> Bavakasha. <laughs> <laughs> all right, give me my beat. I said ho. I said hey. I said are you ready to pray? I said ho. I said hey. I said are you ready to pray? Listen up, listen up, listen up, listen up, let's come together to pray. Listen up, listen up, listen up, listen up, listen up. Listen up. let's come together to pray. I need one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. That is how we make a minion. I need one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. That is how we make a minion. I said, hey, I said you. Now let's all stand up for Barcoo. 
I said hey, I said you. Now let's all stand up for bar food. to pray with our Barhu, it's time for our Shema. And we've learned our first line of sign language, but I wanted to teach you the second line. And so the second line goes like this. Baruch. So Baruch, we're like blessing. The, it's almost like blessing the candles for Shabbat. So Baruch. Then shame is another way we call God. And we already know that one, Adonai, right? So we go shame. And then kivod is the um, glory. And it's kind of sparkly, so we're going to give it a little sparkle. Kevod. And then Malchuto is like leadership. This is a sign for leadership. And Leolam Va'ed, forever and ever, we go like, we take our finger like this, and we go out with our pinky, and then we do that on the other side. Okay, so let's see if we can try all those together. So we go, Baruch Shem Kevod now we know all of the signs for the Shema, so let's take a nice deep breath. And start from the beginning. Shema Yisrael Adonai. Come to our Vehafta. Love your God with all your heart, with all your soul, with all your mind. Love your God with all your heart, with all your soul. Just last week, 
week we read the portion of Noah, and I know you guys sang a really fun song. I couldn't be here to sing it with you, so I felt like we just had to sing it again. So, Noah builds an ark, and I think there's some moves that she really has to remind us. Okay, what are these moves? Who here remembers the moves? Raise your hand if you remember the moves. I need you guys to do them like extra well, that way everybody can see. I need, I need you guys to be leaders, that way everybody else can see what you're doing and copy off of you. All right? So the first movement is, God said no. So you're pointing and you're saying, do something. God said, God said no. no. And then gather. It's like you're gathering a bunch of gather. stuff. Like you're gathering a bunch of the tubs of ice cream just for yourself. <laughs> gather all the animals and put them in the ark. So you're pointing them to where the ark is. Because I don't know where the ark is. It might be on the floor. All right. Ready? Are you guys ready to put them all Let's together? Try. Let's try it. Yeah. yeah. God said no one gather all the animals and put them in the ark. God said no one gather all the animals and put them in the ark. Gotta do the animals. The all right. dogs went. Woof, 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 woof. The, the cats went. Meow. The, the bears went. <laughs> Monkeys went. Ooh, 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 ooh. And the cows went. went. God said no one gather all the animals and put them in the ark. God said no one gather all the animals and put them in the ark. The horses went. <laughs> the wolves went. Oh. Kids went, yay! yay! And, and the, the cows, cows went, went. God said, no one gather all the animals and put them in the ark. God said, no one gather all the animals and put them in the ark. One more time. God said, no one gather all the animals and put them Boker Tov, everybody! Boker Tov! It is so good to see you guys all this morning. We heard a little bit about Noah and the animals just now in that great song. I want to tell you a little bit, I want to tell you a story about how the Noah's Ark story ends. Today I want to tell you the story of how the rainbow got its shape. You might know the story of Noah and the Ark, and at the end of the story... As the Torah tells us, after the flood was over, after all the water drained away, the earth had been completely flooded by all the water and it was time for a new start. And so right after the sun came out and the water dried up, God said to Noah, I'm going to make you a promise. I'm going to put a sign in the sky, a special shape, a very colorful symbol in the sky. And every time you see it, you'll remember that I'm promising you never, ever again I won't hurt any more animals or birds or fish, any more trees or plants, any more rivers or oceans or lakes, and I won't hurt any more people. I'll make sure that everybody is taken care of and loved very much. And so God put this beautiful shape in the sky, this beautiful arcing shape that was colors, all the colors in the world up in the rainbow. You've probably seen a rainbow before in the sky. And God said to Noah, this is going to be your sign. Forevermore, every time you see the rainbow, you will remember the promise that I made not to hurt anyone or anything on earth anymore. So God, so Noah looked at the rainbow and he thought and he thought and he said, God, I have a question. All of the other great big things you created that you put in the sky are round. The sun is a circle. The moon is a circle. We even know that the earth is a circle. All the planets in the sky, they are perfectly round balls. What is the deal with this rainbow? It is only about half a circle. 
It only goes from here to here. You know, why couldn't you have made a big, perfect round circle to match everything else that you made? And God said to Noah, well, you see, I have a little secret to tell you. The secret is that the rainbow actually is a complete circle. And if you could get far enough away, you'd be able to see that a rainbow is a complete circle. But from where you're standing on Earth, you can only see half of it. You see the beautiful colors in the sky, but then when the rainbow comes down to Earth, it stops. And Noah said, what did you do that for? And God said, well, it is a reminder that I'm going to take care of half the circle, and you're going to take care of the other half. Everything down here on earth is going to be your responsibility. Just like I promised not to hurt any birds or animals or fish, now it's going to be your job to take care of the birds and animals and fish too. Just how I promised that I wouldn't hurt any more trees or plants or rivers or lakes or oceans, now it's going to be your job too to take care of this beautiful earth that I've made for you. And just like I promise to take care of people and families and cities and communities as best I can, I can't do it without your help, Noah. So you need to tell to all the people who come after you that they have a, a part in this promise. You have to do your part to take care of the people on earth as well. So ever since then, when we see the rainbow, we remember that God made a promise to do everything God could to take care of the world. But God's not going to do it all by God's self. We have to help too, right? We have to help make sure that the earth, the planet, the animals, and all, everyone who lives here is taken care of. And we have to remember to do our part to take care of the people that we love, the communities, the families, the places that we live as best we can, so that we can make a world that's a little bit more like the way God wanted it to be, a place of gentleness and kindness where everybody has a chance to live a long, healthy life. Amen. All right. That makes me want to sing a song about rainbows, you know? <laughs> Why are there so many songs about There's rainbows? So many songs about... Somewhere. Um. <laughs> Sorry. I was going to add uh, the rainbow connection. Should we put uh, it in? Works too. All right, no, I'm not going to do it. Okay, so a few announcements today um, before we go. So today we have a really exciting event at 4 o'clock. We have um, a special concert with Philip Hall, who plays piano for us um, on Shabbat. And he has this amazing choir, and they're coming to sing along with our adult volunteer choir and our youth choir. Um, it's about an hour, and it's really fun. So we hope that you'll come and join us here in the sanctuary at 4 o'clock. And then on Saturday, November 4th, the Religious School Committee invites everyone to a family trivia night. Ooh. Check the Healthman Herald for details. And lastly, Iyun, the class with Stephanie Carlson, continues today in the library at 9.30. Please join for this parent learning and engagement program. It's open to all. The, this year's topic is Judaism as art. Um, and if you just need a place to be together, they are there. All right, so we're gonna sing one more fun song today, which is about where we put our Torah. So if you can stand up. Stand up. <laughs> Gotta stand up. All right, so. <laughs> there you go. Where you gonna put your coat? Our own, our own. Where you gonna put your Torah? Our own, Hakodesh. The Aron Hakodesh is the holy ark. It's where we put the Torah. The Aron Hakodesh is the holy ark. It's where we put the Torah. Gonna stand up. When, when we open the ark, we're gonna stand up. When we open the ark, we're gonna stand up. When we open the ark, we're gonna stand up. When we open the ark, we're gonna sit down. When we close the ark, we're gonna sit down. When we close the ark, one more time. When you're gonna put your coat, our own, our own. When you're gonna put your Torah, our own, our Kodesh. The Aron HaKodesh is the holy ark, it's where we put the Torah. The Aron HaKodesh is the holy ark, it's where we put the Torah. Gonna stand up, when we open the ark, we're gonna stand up. When we open the ark, we're gonna stand up. When we open the ark, we're gonna stand up. When we open the ark, we're gonna sit down. When we close the ark, we're gonna sit down. Down when we close the ark. One more time, sit down. We're gonna sit down when we close the ark. We're gonna sit down when we close the ark. Woohoo! All right. This song is a bop. I like that. We are gonna start to send you on your way. And so we'll begin with our pre K. 
And our third graders. Pre-K and third grade. Arctic Nanta Chocolat Banana. Woo! Arctic Nanta Chocolat Banana. Arctic Nanta Chocolat Banana. Arctic Nanta Chocolat Banana. And our second graders can head out. Second grade. Goodbye. Amen. 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 Israel.
Good to see your faces. It's a beautiful day outside. I see a lot of people in Astros gear this morning. Very exciting. Today is the 
seventh day of the month of Cheshvan. And so we are going to get a little reminder of how all of our Hebrew months come together in a year. Cheshvan is month number two, so it's pretty quick out of the gate. We're going to yell it really loud once we get to Cheshvan, but we're going to start excited. with Tishra. You ready? I'm excited about Cheshvan. So okay. I need to hear you. You're excited too. Here we go. Tishrei Cheshvan <laughs> that was I did so well that was and so I tried good. to get you again and you failed. Oh. Tish Ray. Oh, thank you. Okay. Oh, that was so good. Very nice. All right. I think I'm going to stay on too, Brad. Um, okay. All right. Well, when we wake up in the morning, it's nice to just be grateful that we woke up and we're here. It's a brand new Day. It's a brand new day. When I wake up, I say it's a brand new day. So you're going to repeat after me if you remember. Mode ani lefaneha. Mode ani lefaneha. Come to you to offer thanks. It's a brand new day. It's a brand new day. Let's just do that one again because it's so tricky. Gently you restore my soul. It's a brand new day. It's a brand new day. It's a brand new day. When I wake up, I say it's a brand new day. Rise for our Baruch Hu. Now called each other 
to worship, to pray together. That's what our Barhu does. It's time for our Shema. And I know a lot of you know the second line in the sign language, but I wanted to just teach you all of those signs or review them for those who don't know that don't know it. So we start with Baruch. So it's sort of like your blessing, like almost like the Shabbat candles or something. Baruch. And then the next word is shame, which is another way we call Adonai, which we already know. Adonai is all around us. So shame. Let's do those together. Baruch. Shame. And then my favorite sign of all time, Kavod, which is like the glory of God's God being around us. So we go, the glory is like the sparkle. Everybody give me a little spark. Kivod. And then Malchuto is leadership. So we go like this. Malchuto. And then forever and ever we go. Leolam. Ba'ed. So let's put those together. Ready? Baruch Shem Kivod Malchuto From the beginning of the Shema, ready? Let's take a deep breath. Shema Yisrael Adonai Eloheinu Adonai Echad. And we sing a little quieter. Baruch Shem Well, it's been a couple of weeks since we've worked on our trope our, for the Veya Hafta. So we're going to learn, we're going to review and learn a new one today. And so we start with Me'odecha. Does anyone remember how this one goes? Nice, I heard it. Me'odecha. This is like the end of the sentence. Let's all do Me'odecha. Me'odecha. Amazing. What's our next slide? Ready? We love Sunday school. Oh, you do? It's so nice. Okay. And the next one, do we remember this one, our wishbone? Oh, you guys are so good. Let's all try. Hello, Hecha. Amazing. What's the next one? It's beautiful. Oh, so good. All right. So our next one, this is going to go like this. So I'm kind of making those two dots above the neck. With my fingers. So ready? Let's all try. Live on Exactly. Let's see what's next. So how would this go? Yes, you go up on that re, right? So who here likes Doritos? One more time all together. Who here likes Doritos? Amazing. I particularly like the Cool Ranch. Okay. So now that we have learned those three, the pink tropes, the end of the sentence, the wishbone, the green, and the orange dots. We're going to try all those moves as we chant this just first part of Ve'ahavta together. Ready? Ve'ahavta et Adonai Elohecha Bechol levavcha uvechol nafshecha uvechol me'odecha Ve'ahayu advarim ha'eva Asher anochi mitzavecha Hayom al-levavecha V'shinantam levanecha V'divarta pa'am V'shivtecha v'veitecha U'vatecha v'aterech U'vshofecha u'vkumecha Ukshartam leot al yadecha Behayu letotafot Beinei necha Ukhtavtam al mezuzot betecha Uvisharecha Beautiful chanting. Brad, take us away. Brad? Brad, take us away? Um, we're gonna rock this party right now with some Micha Mocha. Are you all ready for some Micha Mocha? Oh, you're on two. I'm on two. Okay. It says two. Micha! 
Tov, everybody. So happy to see all of your faces on this very beautiful day. So yesterday morning, in our synagogue and in synagogues all around the world, we read the story of Noah and the ark and the great flood that destroyed everything on earth. You have probably heard this story before. I assume many of you know the story about Noah and the ark and the animals and the rain and the flood and the rainbow that God sent after the flood as a sign of the covenant. The story I'm going to tell you today is about how the rainbow got its shape. So as the story goes, as you know, God looked down at the earth and saw that everything was so troubling and so problematic and so upsetting and so violent and hurtful. And God decided to do a hard reset on the earth and send the flood to wipe everything out and start over. After the water subsided, the sun came out and the earth dried out. Noah and his family came out of the ark to the world that was ready to be reborn. And after that, God talked to Noah and told Noah, I'm ready to make a promise. My promise is that I'm never, ever going to do that again. No matter how bad things get on earth, I'm never going to send another flood. I'm never going to wipe out life on earth again. I'm never going to punish everybody that lives on earth because of a few people's mistakes. I promise I'll never do that again. And as a sign of the promise I'm making, God said, I'm going to put a special symbol in the sky. A beautiful, colorful arc with every color imaginable. And every time you see that rainbow, you will be reminded of the promise that I'm making to you, that I will never again destroy the earth. Noah looked at the rainbow and said, my goodness, it's so beautiful, God. I love the colors and the symbolism and the promise that you're making. But I have a question. Everything else that you made, God, up in the sky is round is a perfect circle. The sun is round. The moon is round. All the planets in the solar system, they are all round. They're all perfect circles. What is the deal with this new thing you made, this rainbow, that it's only a half a circle? It only goes from here to here, and then it stops. It seems like if you wanted everything to match, you should have made the rainbow a perfect circle. And God said, aha. I have a very special reason for only making the rainbow a half a circle. And that is this. The half of the circle that you see with all the colors is a reminder of the promise that I am making, God says. I'm never going to do that again. I'm going to do everything I can to protect the earth, to look after everything that lives on this planet, to look after the people, the relationships, and the communities that are on this earth. I'm going to do everything that I can from my place in heaven to make the world better. But... God says, the rainbow is only half a circle because it reminds us that half of the job is yours. I can't do it all myself, God said. I'll take care of this half of the rainbow, and you have to take care of the bottom half. Just in the same way that I look after the earth, you also have to look after the earth. In the same way that I protect people who are vulnerable, you also have to take care and protect people who are vulnerable. The same way that I look after the oceans and lakes and birds and animals to keep them all clean and safe and healthy, you have to do your part too. 
So even today, every time we see a rainbow, that half a circle of every beautiful color shimmering in the sky it reminds us of the promise that God made. But my friends, it also reminds us that we have a job to do too. We have to fulfill our half of the promise to match what God did, to make sure that we are doing what we can to protect the earth, to look after people who are vulnerable, and to do everything we can to keep this beautiful, fragile, perfect planet as healthy and safe as it can be. Have a great week, everybody. Try to come up with something great you can do to look after this wonderful place we live. <clears throat> All right. I'm going to do it this time, Rabbi. Yeah? Why are there so many songs about rainbows and what's on the other side? Rainbows are visions, but only Rainbows have nothing to hide. So we've been told and some choose to believe it. I know they're wrong, wait and see. Someday we'll find it, the rainbow connection, the lover. had to throw that in there. All right. Well, a few announcements before we sing our last song for today. Um, just wanted you all to know that um, for safety purposes, students are not permitted to exit the east pedestrian gate. So anyone who's leaving campus on foot must exit through the rotunda that way and use the west driveway pedestrian gate. Okay. Just wanted to make sure you guys all know that. Um, today, after Tefila, our fifth graders are going to Feld Hall for Family Ed. And those are my announcements. So we're so glad you're here with us. And today is our last day of our unit of Kahila Kadosha. So we felt like we had to sing our uh, Kahila Kadosha song one more time. If you are a 10. If you are a town, then there needs a beam. We stand here today and remember the dream. If you are a town, then there needs a beam. We stand here today and remember the dream. Kehila, what Kedosha, what Kehila. Each one of us must find the joy. Each one of us. Each one of us. Each one of us. Each one of us. Each one of us must do the work. Each one of us must right the wrong. Each one of us must build a home. Each one of us must hold a home. Each one of us. Each one of us. Kehila, what kedosha? What kehila? Kedosha, kehila, what kedosha?
find you on your way. We're so glad you're here with us this morning. We'll start with our seventh graders. Artimenta, chocolate, banana. Artimenta, chocolate, limon. Artimenta, chocolate, banana. Artimenta, chocolate, limon. Oh, chocolate, banana. Oh, chocolate, limon. Shalom, Shalom, 